You look the same looking out, but people see you entirely differently. And in today's world, they look at you like you're worthless. <laughs> Alors bonjour et bienvenue sur cette nouvelle vidéo. Je suis les gars que vous avez bien entendu pour la dernière fois. N'hésite pas à t'abonner, tu connais même petit j'aime. Ici ce jour à toi chill, l'idée de la chaîne pour te permettre d'être déter. Passe à action, crée ta vie sur mesure. Et une meilleure version de toi-même, le classique. Hein. Euh, pour ça, il y a deux choses que moi je te propose. C'est mon étude de cas où je te montre exactement comment j'ai fait les 20-40 semaines. C'est gratuit, c'est offert avant de créer à l'arnaque. Regarde quand même. Hein. Et deuxième chose, c'est ma formation Pirate Marketing où je te montre toutes les stratégies pour atteindre au minimum les 5K par mois, ce qui te permettra après de pouvoir voyager. Avec 5K, tu es bien, tu es large. Et dans deux, en plus, je t'ai rajouté des bonus complémentaires sur comment investir l'immobilier, euh, les cryptos, les startups, euh, personal branding, l'e-commerce. Euh, donc je pense que tu as pas mal de choses. Donc si tu veux en savoir plus, tu tu cliques sur le lien qui est dans la description. Tu pourras avoir un rendez-vous offert. Il y a un membre de mon équipe qui va te rappeler, qui est formé, qui connaît le business. Tu pourras poser toutes tes questions, voir si jamais ça peut être correspondre. Hein, parce que ça se trouve, euh, Pirate Marketing ne sera pas bon par rapport à ce que toi, tu veux faire. Et, euh, et en plus, ils pourront t'orienter sur d'autres choses, sur d'autres business peut-être qui te correspondront à plus. L'idée, c'est que tu passes à l'action. Okay et pas d'excuses, les gars. J'ai grandi à Ivry dans 91 jours de mon BP trop technique. Hein, ça fait plus de trois ans qu'on voyage. J'ai découvert le business en ligne super tard. Euh, voilà. Tout ce qu'il y a à faire, c'est qu'il faut persévérer. C'est tout. La liberté, c'est 2 à 5 ans. Ce que j'ai vu, c'est 2 à 5 ans. Ok euh, Et passons directement au sujet de la vidéo. Donc les gars, petite vidéo que je voulais partager avec toi, que j'ai regardé, j'ai dit « Ah, ça serait pas mal de partager ça avec toi. » Tu sais que moi, je suis, un, je suis obsédé par le temps. Hein <rire> tu, parce que tu, je vois le temps, ça passe comme des voitures, comme, dis, comme disait l'autre. Hein le temps, il passe comme des voitures, tu peux jamais le récupérer. C'est la valeur la plus puissante que l'on a et c'est pas l'argent. Contrairement à ce que la plupart des gens pensent, puisqu'ils continuent à échanger leur temps contre de l'argent. Après, c'est normal d'échanger son temps contre de l'argent au début, tu vois. Mais après, il faut vite que tu bascules pour que tu échanges plus ton temps contre de l'argent, parce que c'est ce que tu as de, de plus précieux en fait. Et donc pour ça, il faut investir, il faut créer ton business, etc. Et avoir des effets de levier pour que ce soit l'argent qui travaille à ta place. Et donc du coup, j'ai toujours été passionné. J'avais lu un livre euh, par rapport à ça aussi euh, sur euh, le retour d'expérience des personnes qui ont déjà un certain âge. Ok, donc là, euh, dans cette vidéo-là, il a interviewé euh, ce gars-là, euh, je ne sais même pas comment il s'appelle, <rire> de toute façon je le mettrai en titre, euh, il a interviewé des, bah, des personnes de certain âge, je crois 70, jusqu'à même 80, et euh, c'est toujours cool d'avoir en fait leur retour d'expérience pour, euh, bah, pour prendre l'expérience et pas faire peut-être les mêmes erreurs qu'eux, ou avoir justement des bons conseils qui pourraient te permettre de toi bah, euh, optimiser ta vie euh, le mieux possible, hein, parce qu'on n'en a qu'une. Hein. Il y en a, ils font comme, il y en a, ils vivent comme si, genre, ils avaient 50 vies. <rire> C'est un truc de malade. Ils sont là, ils dépensent leur adresse, ils sont là sur Netflix toute la journée, ils sont là. Après, la vie, elle est, elle est terminée, ils n'ont rien fait de leur life. Donc, on va voir ça. Et puis, euh, voilà, c'est tout. Quel advice que vous donneriez à quelqu'un de votre âge Dans cette vidéo, je vais interviewer des retirés seniors dans leurs 60s, 70s et 80s sur leurs meilleures pièces de vie et leurs plus grands regrets. Combien de temps vous êtes-vous Je suis 70. Qu'est-ce que ça se passe d'être 70 Ça se passe d'être un an plus que 69. Et qu'est-ce que ça se passe d'être 69 Un an plus que 68. Voici ce que ça se passe d'être. Vous vous êtes le même en regardant, mais les gens vous voient entièrement différemment. Et dans le monde d'aujourd'hui, ils vous regardent comme like you're worthless. <rire> et, et ce qu'il dit là, euh, ça je l'ai senti ça parce que je me rappelle quand j'avais, euh, je sais plus, une vingtaine d'années, je me suis toujours imaginé quand t'as 30 ans, genre t'es, tu sais, genre tu deviens sérieux, genre t'es quelqu'un, genre, t'es un, un daron quoi, genre 30 ans, t'es un daron, t'as des, des chats, t'as un chat, un chien, une maison, tu vois. Et en fait, plus les années sont passées, 30 ans, 40, et en fait, je suis le même en fait. Ça veut dire qu'en fait, dans, dans, dans mon cerveau, je suis toujours la même personne qu'il y a quand j'avais euh, début de vingtaine. Alors évidemment, j'ai amélioré quand même des petits trucs au passage. C'est quand même le but de, de s'améliorer euh, au jour le jour et de faire une meilleure version pour avoir des meilleurs résultats dans sa life. Mais euh, genre, c'est clair que ça ne change pas. Tu genre, il n'y a pas un moment où tu te dis, euh, c'est à quel moment qu'on devient adulte en fait tu, Hein <rire> En fait, euh, genre, ça n'arrive jamais en fait. C'est parce qu'en fait, tu restes toujours le même en fait. Tu, tu fais genre devant les gens. Oui, non, ça j'avoue, c'est très important par rapport à la conjoncture. Mais en vérité, euh, tu restes toujours le même quoi. You played tackle football the day before. Just can't remember why you feel so sore. And you're up and you're doing things and you're just really sore. And then uh, you go into the bathroom and you go like this. Because all of a sudden there's this old face in front of you. And you go, holy shit, I'm old, I forgot. I played hockey until a couple of years. I quit at the 84. I take no medication. I don't remember when I've ever had it. I feel good. How old are you? 73. Can you describe to me what it feels like to be 73? 
<laughs> Wonderful. It Depends what, what it life you had before. How was your life? It's absolutely great. I was born in France, came to Canada when I was very young. What is a big mistake that you've made or a big regret that you have that you learned a valuable lesson from? I got married when I was very young. Like, I don't know how old you are, but I have grandchildren that are in their 30s. So I would probably have lived life a little bit more than getting married then. How old were you when you got married? 18. What age would you get married Ooh. at, let's say today? Probably in my 30s. I think like I'm 23, but physically I don't feel like I'm 23. And then the world looks at you differently and they respond differently. Can you no. elaborate on that? Well, I think as a woman, you feel a little invisible as you get older. When you're... Ah. C'est pas moi qui l'a dit, hein <rire> Vous pouvez pas dire que c'est pas moi qui l'a dit ah là là, C'est pas moi qui l'ai dit, comme ça on est tranquille, les gars hein euh, Voilà Et ben les gars, c'est pareil, ça, de, 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 dans leur début de vingtaine, ben, ils sont invisibles. Et après, ça se verse. You're younger, you get a lot of attention, a lot of people, you know, look at you and talk to you. I don't think we value older people, I think we think they're kind of like out of date. No, oh, I'm tired, man. It's like gravity has been holding on to me for a long fucking time. I'm like so many people who suddenly look up and go, what? 73? When did that happen? I'm not ready for Medicare yet, but I'll take it. When you look at the 20-somethings of today, what is one thing you don't like about them? The social media stuff. All the selfies and the kind of marketing oneself as a product. You can't see sit in an airport or even in a park and talk to anybody because everybody's like this put it away turn it off <laughs> i feel like there's a whole language of images that i just don't have the training to get because it didn't happen with me from birth which kind of uh, makes me feel left out a little what does it feel like to be 75 it feels wonderful i just signed a seven-year employment contract And what does it feel like to be 69? Like I just have learned enough to get started. A little bit of walking problems, head not in tune with the body. Every now and again I'm reminded that I'm not 40 anymore, I'm 59 and I'm 60 next year and that's surprising. If you could give one piece of advice to someone younger than you, what would you say? Don't worry so much about things. I worried about everything when I was young. After a while you just think, what's the point, just do it. Because we were mental health nurses, I can say not being happy is not the same as being ill. But I think there's a big emphasis on mental health. It encourages people to think that if they're not happy all the time, there's something wrong, as opposed to it's just normal life. Sometimes you're happy about things, sometimes you're not happy about things. What is the biggest mistake or biggest regret that you have in your life? Ah, well, I could have traveled more. I mean, I've traveled a lot, but I really enjoy that. I'm sorry I let one of the languages I knew when I was younger go. I also really, really effing regret that I didn't take advantage of public schools here i could have learned to play a musical instrument or whatever reason i didn't do i think it was because i didn't think my parents had enough money to buy me an instrument i didn't do it and now i regret it desperately you know i really wish i had learned to play music because it's very very important to me i feel like ah ben tu vois ça me parle parce que je pas je suis musicien mais euh, tu vois là ce qu'il a dit c'est un truc vraiment où maintenant moi ma life ma vie je la vis vraiment genre je veux avoir aucun regret. Si j'ai envie de faire un truc, je le fais. Parce que sinon, gars, les regrets... T'as vu comment il est là T'as vu comment il est Comment il regrette de ne pas avoir fait de la musique En plus, il pourrait commencer maintenant. Il hein. n'y bah, a pas d'âge. Hein. Mais gars, non, ça, cette sensation, je ne veux pas l'avoir. Je fais tout ce que j'ai envie de faire, je le fais. Dès que je pense à un truc, j'ai envie de le faire, je le fais. Like it's in me, but I don't know how to express it. What does it feel like to be 83 and 85? Old. Getting old is not for the faint of heart. Thank God my health is fine. Me, I have a long medical history. I'm a swimmer. I can swim a thousand yards. Can you swim a thousand yards? When did you start saying that you felt old? When my son says that I should sell the house and uh, move into a uh, assisted living and things like that. You, you feel old. How do you feel about that? What can I do? I mean, uh, I'm upright. <laughs> It's pretty good. I don't want to go through my life again. But we do look at all you young people and we envy you because we think you have so many choices. Physically, I feel fine. Mentally, I feel fine. A little more tired, but I regret some of the mistakes I made. I'm a nurse. I yeah. help people die who are much younger than me. I'm still standing. Life is sweet. We are slowly losing our memory and I realize that and this worries me. Physically I feel uh, younger but mentally I feel older. What is something that when we're younger we tend to prioritize but as we get older we realize isn't that important? 
time. It just seems to me young people are always in such a hurry, such a hurry. I understand that the world is out there to be taken, you know. So if I go here, I go there, I go here, I go there. But um, I think just calm down and proceed sensibly. What people think of you. How does that change over time? Well, I really don't care anymore. And I used to care not a lot, but, you know, you did want to fit in. I used to have a hierarchy in my mind. There were, like, the cool people and the popular people, and then there was the nerdy people like me. And now I realize there's no hierarchy. So what matters then? You know, at the end of the day, it's community. The ability to connect to people and do something that's meaningful to you that maybe is productive for the world, but maybe not. Stuff. The older you get, like the more you go, things. yes, you're going, why do I have all this stuff? Competitiveness. You really don't have to beat everybody at all costs. So who do you have to beat? Yourself. Is there something that we tend to prioritize a lot when we're younger, but as we get older, we realize isn't actually that important? Yes, uh, worrying about women. Can you elaborate on that? Yes. Uh, be careful. <laughs> I never worried about earning a living. I was a chemist. You gave me money, I made crap out of it. We worry about what everybody else thinks of us and uh, what we look like. It's rubbish. Our cosmetics and our hair and our face. You guys don't have to worry about it so much, but we women, we're encouraged to spend a lot of money on it. It's a waste of time, waste of energy, waste of life. What is one regret that you have or one mistake that you have made that you learned a valuable lesson from? Not being kind enough and generous enough. Getting too caught up in someone hurt my feelings or they didn't do things the way I thought and getting rigid about it instead of just going, you know what, it'll all work out in the end. We both love to travel. I think we waited until we thought, oh, we can afford that. It would have been much more fun to travel when we were younger at less nice places. So we didn't start really traveling until we were about 50. So yes, we can afford nicer places to go, but it would have been much more fun to have done some backpack stuff. You know. I was too competitive sometimes at work back in the old days where I felt that winning was what was important and I probably didn't treat some people very nicely. That came at the expense of friendships and of my own comfort. Now looking back and kind of going like, ew, I did that. If you went back in time and could redo it, what would you have done? Really treat people as you want to be treated. Sometimes when you make a choice when you're in your 20s, you don't realize the implications of how things are going to roll out in your life. Although I graduated... Ça, c'est super puissant ce qu'il a dit, ça. Quand tu fais des choix... Ben, en fait, tout le temps, en fait, ça, ben, ça impacte, en fait, ça impacte ta vie, là. Ça fait un peu l'effet papillon. Ça, c'est un truc de malade, ça. I went to a two-year college, but I should have gone to a four-year college. It would have been better. What is the biggest mistake that you've made that you regret? Oh, let's get very personal. I married too young. I wasn't growing up yet. I was very early 20s. My first wife was 20, and we were still developing. I think mid to late 20s before one gets too permanent with anybody because you're still changing. That's my biggest regret, I think. If you could give one piece of advice to someone younger than you, what would you say? Keep active, don't smoke, don't drink, and uh, have fun, you know, enjoy yourself. Don't be a follower. Be an independent mind. Have your own judgment about things. Otherwise, you are going to become a robot. We used to, when we were young, make sure that we would write a beautiful letter with the right words, right style, etc. This cannot exist anymore because you only uh, communicate via this thing, which I don't even give it a name. Tap, tap, tip, 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 tip. It's like a telegram. It's a monstrosity. Relax. Show me the same respect as you could show Don't look at the critics mm -hmm. because it'll throw you off your game. You stay true to your vision. Uh, you know, I think give you the standard crap. Give something. me your crap. Okay, my standard. crap is really if you think of something honestly, you could be dead tomorrow. So, really, even at your age, you could be fucking dead tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Look out, the media. <laughs> you know, just if you really want to do it, you really ought to do it. I would probably encourage people to do what you are passionate about. Like you hear people say, I can't believe I'm being paid to do this. That would be wonderful. <laughs> do something that challenges you for all the expectations that you might think you have, limits you might have. Try and see the world through other people's eyes. We don't all have the same opportunities, and it's up to us to make sure that others have the same opportunities we do. Every day you've got to grow, and every day you've got to learn something. Yeah. You can't just lie in bed and eat cookies. You have to <laughs> get up and get going. You don't know it all. For sure you don't know it all. So don't think you do. And you never Keep will. on learning. Learn from somebody every day. Don't take out more than you put in. Probably try and do the best thing you can by yourself. And then when you know and love yourself, you can actually give a little bit more to other people. Never do anything that might cause remorse, because remorse is something that you cannot repair. Turn a cheek. If someone 
comes at you or yells at you or insults you, look the other way. Don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about the feedback you're getting. I mean, take the feedback because that helps you refine what you're working on and it can be useful, but just stop worrying so much and just do something interesting and that's it. Don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today. Just be a good person. If you're a good person, somehow everything works out to be good. <laughs> you, Why everybody? <laughs> drugs and drugs and voilà, donc j'espère que tu as apprécié. C'était un beau panel parce qu'on a eu différentes personnes euh, avec différents points de vue. Donc euh, c'était pas mal. Je ne sais pas si euh, on aura autant de couples dans, euh, je sais pas, dans, dans, dans 50 ans, euh, autant de couples encore ensemble à cet âge-là. Vu le marché du dating, comment il, il est en ce moment, ah bah, tu, tu me connais, je n'ai pas pu m'en empêcher. Euh, de toute façon, tu l'as remarqué comme moi. Hein. Je ne sais pas s'il y a encore autant de... Si, si dans, dans notre génération, il y aura autant de couples euh, qui seront encore ensemble. Euh, à cet âge-là, d'ailleurs, il y a une étude qui a été montrée, mais bon, je te parlerai de ça plus tard. Euh, il y aura, je ne sais plus combien de pourcentage de femmes qui seront seules, mais c'est gros. Euh, donc voilà, j'espère que ça t'a encouragé en tout cas à passer à l'action, à, à faire les choses pour rien à regretter. Il y a, il y a une, je crois qu'il y a une dame qui a dit euh, les remords, c'est le, ce qu'il faut vraiment esquiver. Ça, ça me parle vraiment. Il faut vraiment tout faire pour avoir aucun remords, aucun regret. La vie, elle passe vite, les gars. Donc, arrêtez de procrastiner, de remettre à demain. Si tu veux lancer ton business, lance ton business. Si je... Tu veux lancer ton business. Peut-être que ce n'est pas ce que tu veux faire, mais tu veux être libre. Mais il va falloir lancer ton business. Ça ne pas se faire tout seul. Hein. Si tu veux être libre, euh, pouvoir voyager, pouvoir aller faire ce que tu veux. Euh, et il va falloir faire de l'oseille. Hein. Donc, euh, il va falloir lancer son business. De toute façon, tu as tout en description. Tu vas aller plus loin avec moi. Et les gars, on ne lâche rien. Et on reste déterminé. Il y a eux et à nous. Je vais être encore. Oh, 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 oh,